This, this is crazy. Attack speed's insane. Cooldown's decent. Like, you, you could stand still. You could go, I could go AFK and just, like, be perfectly fine. Like, this is kind of insane. Kind of flippin' insane. Like, holy smokes, dude. Yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? It is Lotus here back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all am enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. Just show 98% of you guys are not subscribed, so definitely tap that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We're gonna, if you guys didn't see the last episode, we ended up unlocking Chaos. You guys can jump back and watch that um, after this one to see how we unlocked him. But we're gonna jump right on into this. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how he goes. I did read this in the last episode. You guys can pause and uh, read through this. But <clears throat> we'll see how he is. It'll be very interesting. We'll, we will be doing Midgard again on normal. So, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes swimmingly. Okay, so, yeah, this is what is way different compared to every other character. So, Shadow Dirks, Skog, or Shooting Daggers. I think I'm going to go with shooting daggers first. Um, ooh. Let's go shooting daggers again. Oh, ace. Yes. Shooting daggers. Ooh, poison bomb, though. I'll do ace. Ace. And that's all for now. His movement speed does feel faster than some of the other characters. Oh, that's an interesting... Okay. So we haven't unlocked the ultimate yet. In those, we only unlock... So when we level up, we get these cards. Infernal Codex. Uh, I'd rather not. I think I'm going to go with cooldown. I am super fast. Um, projectiles, yeah. Projectile speed. Uh, let's go shooting daggers. Holy crap, dude. I freaking zoom, man. How does this work? Um, projectiles. Uh, damage and cooldown. I don't know if I'll be able to pick those up. Cooldown and projectiles. Okay. Damage and penetration. Could throw cards. I'm going to go with this. Um, attack speed and projectiles. Attack speed. Cooldown and penetration. That could be good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to pick up. Unless it's, like, afterwards, but you get random rewards, so it's, like, I don't know how... Like, it just seems interesting. Could take projectile speed. So I'm gonna continue with this for now. Projectiles. Boomerang daggers. Feather burst. I think I'm gonna go with boomerang... Or feather burst first. Let's speed our way down here. Because Feather Burst will get the, the, the wave clear going. Uh, more projectiles, yes. Cool down an area, eh. Let's go attack speed. Um, attack speed and projectiles, yeah. Even though um, we probably should have invested a little bit into damage, but that's okay. Not the, not the end of the world yet, at least. Not the end of the world yet. So we'll see how we'll see how this goes. I, I mean, this is just an interesting, uh, interesting build to say the least. Um, projectiles of penetration, yeah, sure. See how the rest of this goes. Um, I'll take this. Why not? More the merrier for stats right now. Um, damage and penetration. Um, 
yeah, that's probably the way to go. Even though XP would be huge. Okay. Um, here in random directions. Yeah, I'll take Crimson Dagger. Like, we're doing, like, a full-on dagger build other than having Ace right now. Which is interesting. Um, duration. Freeze status now has... I mean, the, all those kind of suck, so I'm not going to take any of those other than the, the dagger. Dagger's the only one worth probably going with. So, let's see. I mean, Stormbringer could be pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to keep going with Crimson Dagger, though. For at least right now. Okay. It's just, this is such an odd uh, character. It's just different compared to every other character you run. I mean, Missing Head has, has its own, like, quirk, but this one is just completely different. Um, Crimson Dagger. Okay. I mean, we do have a pretty broken build right now. Um, XP Attraction could actually be useful, but I'm gonna go Crimson Dagger. Um, cooldown. I mean, like, we're, we're in a spot right now where, like, we're sitting pretty good. I don't know what... I mean, a XP increase could be super useful. Um, I don't really know what else we could really go for. That would be, like of use, I feel like, right now. Um, I mean, if Stormbringer pops up again, maybe. Can I, like... Oh, I can keep points. Um, what is this? Oh, this is, like, just, like, what? One damage and ten attack speed? I mean, that's not terrible, but it's not, like, super... super crazy, you know? So, we may take it, we may not. I I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided um, if I want to take it or not. Um, I mean, the, it, it could be nice. Crit damage, attack speed. You know what? I will keep my points here. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll take Stormbringer. Okay. Um, minions and elites die. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, not that it matters, because we're destroying them pretty quickly. Um, like, we probably should have just saved up and hoped we got the boss one, but, like... Come on, like, we're pretty insane right now. Oh, uh, let's take this. Uh, I guess we can work our way down toward uh, this since we're not getting our three uh, three points yet. Um, Shadow Archer summons red berries. I'm going to keep this point. It's like, the, I don't want any of those. I don't want Shadow Dagger. I mean, we could. Um... I don't care for uh, the exploding berries because we're not doing like a summon build or anything like that. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I just didn't really care for that stuff, so we'll see how the rest of this goes. I mean, we're, we're already sitting in a really good spot. Um, I'm not worried really about anything right now. I mean, the staff could be insane. Um... Uh, cooldown and critical. Area and cooldown. Projectiles. Damage and cooldown. Cooldown. Okay. Probably should have saved like a point there, but 
Potions drop creates cooldown. You know what? Let's save this point and then let's go in. Um, uh, which I'm call it. Let's go in. Um, buy that relic up there. Okay, a ring would be super nice. Shadow Warrior appears. Eh, let's go projectile and damage. Alright. Okay. Get something good out of this. Fall once. Let's go damage. Okay, well, we're probably gonna... Like, this, this is probably... The build we're going is probably gonna shred pretty quickly. I'll take five plus five percent experience. Grab this guy. Holy crap, that just dropped three potions. That's crazy. Okay. Um cooldown in area. Sure. Damage in area. Summoning stone. Increase the damage of eh. Let's go cooldown. XP, projectile, yes, oh my goodness, heck yes, maxed out ultimate man, that's gonna be insane. That is going to be insane. Um, Porridge adds two blue hearts. Uh, sure. I'm kind of all in on move speed right now. Uh, yeah, we'll take all that for now. We'll see. We'll see where this leads us. I mean, I think we're in a pretty, uh, pretty good spot way, by the way things look. <laughs> Attack speed is kind of crazy. Cooldown's kind of crazy. Like this is insane, dude. Nothing's gonna get near us at this rate. Like this is crazy. Like this is insane. We're not even on freaking. And we got maxed out ultimate. Like what the heck, dude? Okay. Um, boomerang daggers. Oh boy. Let's go multi daggers. I'm going for set more move speed. Holy smokes, dude. We're going like a move speed build. Jeez Louise, man. This, this is crazy. Attack speed's insane. Cooldown's decent. Like you, you could stand. St you could go. I could go AFK and just like be perfectly fine. Like this is kind of insane. Kind of flipping insane. Like, holy smokes, dude! This move speed is so nice. Oh my gosh, dude! If we can get like the perk that where we generate a green heart. That would be nice. Chance to poison. Let's go projectile speed. I don't want this, though. Yeah. Not that it's going to matter, because we're probably not going to get hit. Unless I force it. Okay. Um, paralyzed enemy, summon icicles, toward. I mean, these kind of suck. I'm gonna keep. Boomerang, okay. Come on, I walk fast. How am I not getting hit? How am I not getting hit? Heal one red heart every 46 seconds. Let's go damage. Oh my 
guy, dude. There we go. Okay, there we go. Like, there's not a lot of healing on the ground, but there's a good amount. Jesus, man. I can't get hit. Um... Let's go more, uh, move speed. Move speed's up to 42. I'm trying. I'm trying to get hit, but it's not working out too well. Not working out too well, but I'm trying. Um, let's see. Probably cool down. Whoa, you can get... Oh my god, they stack? I thought it just refreshed the timer. I didn't know they stacked. Oh my god. God, that actually kind of blew my mind there. Um, I don't want either of these, I don't think. I'll go cards, screw it. It's just another projectile that we throw out, so might as well. Uh, might as well, might as well, might as well. Cool down. Damage and attack speed's not bad. Uh, it's actually taking a while to uh, get the kills for, because like we're only on normal mode, so like stuff's not spawning very quickly, it feels like. Damage and cooldown. If you don't remove, if you don't move, relics gain. I mean, we could totally do this. We could totally do that. I mean, the problem is though, like we kind of want to get hit as well to uh, be able to increase our damage even more. Because that's probably one of my favorite passive relics is uh, is that one. But, I mean, that's alright. We're still sitting in a pretty good spot, I guess. I mean, we, we still don't have to move. But I do want to get all this XP. I mean, we do have the ring as well. Plus, I've been trying to get hit, and it just hasn't been working out. Because we're just, like, I even have insane amount of movement speed, and I'm just still not fast enough. Um, let's go more cooldown. Please be something good. Uh, not terrible, not great. Okay. Ooh, I do want to see something. Um. What exactly... I mean, we're definitely not going to get hit. We're only on the first wave, too. Like, this is crazy. Increase the damage you deal to bosses. Oh, crap. We can take this one as well. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. I mean, our projectiles are insane, so might as well. Might as well. Why not? Okay. Stacked up a lot of uh, damage there. Should be good to go. You ain't got nothing on us, pal. We ain't got nothing on us. Um. Sure. Um. Yeah. Projectile speed. Sure. 
Okay, are we maxed? Um. Oh, I didn't use my ring. Definitely take this. Take this. Um. I really don't need anything. Like, with how crazy our build is, I don't need anything. Um. Like, I just, I just sadly, I don't. That's a huge amount of crit, though. Sure, I'll take damage. Why not? Why not? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take that. I just don't think that one's that good. I don't think that one's that good. Like, because, like, yeah, you get one extra hit, but with a build that we're trying to kind of get hit with, even though we took the green heart one, like, it's just, it, would, it doesn't make any sense to, to take that. So I'm definitely not going to do that. Grants five gold. Grants a random full heart. Oh, I'll take seeds, man. I'll take seeds all day. Is this a way to farm a good chunk of seeds? I mean, if we had the golden Noki, that would be an insane, uh... Like, you could easily... You could easily cap out gold every single run if you had gold, golden Noki, dude. You can only take up to 100 seeds, though. But yeah, you could totally cap out, um... You could totally cap out freaking Cool the Noki, dude. Well, you can only take a... Now, is it 100 seedlings, or is it... You can only take that five times, which gives you 500 seedlings. Okay. Nope, you can only take 100 seedlings. Okay. But it does take three XP points. Which isn't too bad. I guess. I guess. Yeah, we shred through these bosses, though. Like, these elites have nothing on us. These two don't matter to us. So I'm going to take all the seedlings that I can take. Okay. I mean, like I said, we could take gold, but taking gold is not going to matter because we don't have uh, the golden Noki. So I'd rather take all the seedlings that we can get. Especially on a normal run, man. Like, imagine doing an expert run with this. You'd get, like, say, two to three hundred seedlings by just doing the run, and then at the end you get another hundred seedlings. Like, dude. Like, come on. Like, that's crazy. Can't say no to that. Can we make it down here? We're gonna shred through the boss anyways, but... So... Okay. Got a decent, decent chunk of upgrades here. Decent chunk of upgrades here. I guess not really upgrades, but... 
Bunch of seedlings. I'll take them. Cause I have a good feeling that we're gonna kill this boss like almost immediately. Yep, dead. But yeah, if you guys end up enjoying this, um, as this is definitely a different character, make sure you guys tap that uh, like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that was chaos. That was uh, interesting. Uh, interesting guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know much more to go about it. Like that was just interesting to say the uh, say the least. Um, I guess let's take status duration and let's take effect probs. Just throw some points into that. But yeah, this has been Nordic Ashes. Once again, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.